Hello there. Today I'm going to talk about seedling care because that's what I'm up to. I have some plants that require potting on. I have to fertilize some. We'll talk about the watering. I think I've killed a couple of lettuce plants. Uh, just general seedling care. And some seeds have arrived in the mail, so I'll show you those. Now these tomato plants all are ready to be potted on into their final pots. This is the pots they will stay and they will get out of my kitchen and now be moved up into my bedroom where they will carry on their lives. Got my pine cones here. They've all opened up and the seeds have all spit out and it's great organic matter, organic filler for these pots so I use less compost. Always being frugal. So this will help. It won't hurt the plants in any way and in fact um, will just break down eventually but uh, will help me save on money. The pine trees did not grow their pine cones all for naught. I've saved the seeds because Bruce would like these to distribute outside somewhere. I don't know where. Out front I think. Um, and hopefully we'll see a pine tree or two. These tomato plants are all called Manitoba and I must stress that uh, these are not for outdoors. I would not have started these this early. They are staying indoors. Uh, you would be starting much later to have much smaller plants to go outside. But these are now final size for indoors. <gasps> and I'm making a mess. Beautiful roots, very dry, so I'm going to give them a great water. Because I'm adding new potting soil here today, uh, I probably won't fertilize just yet, but maybe next watering I'll be using some liquid fertilizer on these. So that's those ones done. I will be temporarily staking these, but uh, I find they grow best with tomato cages upstairs and I just let them go around them and uh, they're out in my shed. So it's a bit snowy and cold out. I'll, I'll get those at a later time. My pots are not lovely matchy matchy pots because I don't care. I'm saving money and they're upstairs hidden away from any company. So I know my tomato plants will be happy here. I put them here every year and there's a lot of light in these windows. We're going to go through what's on the windowsill here now. It's a hodgepodge and I'll also show you a tomato plant that I overwatered. So I started lots of parsley plants, more than I require, because these are mostly for indoors, but uh, as the seedlings came up, I decided to um, prick them out and pot on all of them, because they'll eventually go outside. Parsley is notorious for taking long to germinate. It can take up to 28 days. So they're also slow growing. And for my climate, uh, a good head start is fine. So they'll be just fine. Here's a lettuce. It's uh, just starting to come on. It was a wee seedling, but it's coming along. What if it? What is it? It's uh, an all year. Then I have everywhere some peppers of various uh, degrees of sizes. It looks like that's a pathfinder. I have some Scotia tomatoes here. They're still uh, smaller, and I don't need to pot those on yet. But I do need to fertilize them. Then I have things like kale. I don't even know what this is. That's a mustard. And another kale. A few more plants. This is red robins of tomatoes. Just today I started some, my seeds arrived, I'll show you those, but I started some Crimson King and some, what's it called, Aroma 2 basil. So looking forward to those. This is the unfortunate plant that I've overwatered. I'm just keeping him to see how he'll do. What I did was un I watered from the bottom. Uh, didn't think it was too much. I just don't succeed well when I do that. I over It just soaked it up and it's still a heavy pot. I much prefer to just drop little drips down so I can actually maintain the amount of water I put in. So bad me killing a tomato plant. Now my indoor cucumber plant, this is not for outside, these are now flowering, 
and uh, fingers crossed that uh, some cucumbers will be able to hang on here. It has worked for me many times in the past, but I've also had years where the plants were just too spindly, and this one's looking very spindly. We'll see. I'll keep you posted. Here's some leeks coming up. I've also put some green onions just for fun there, and more bean seeds, and they're just starting to come up. Turnip tops. I've already eaten one, and then I transplanted it. It had so many roots. And then I overwatered, so that one's gone now. And some beet greens. Herbs are always doing well. They don't need much from me. Time for another little haircut. Oops. My chives are going to bloom. Oh, that'll be pretty in my kitchen. Now my bean plants I've shown before, and uh, this plant is now... Uh, the beans are all growing, so there's actually a lot here. Great fun. Here's some of my lettuce not looking as good as I'd like to see them. They're not as healthy, but... Um, I'll keep my eye on those. They have been potted on, so maybe they just need to catch their wind there. Uh, I can see some watering is required here. And another big Thai pepper there. These need to be potted on now. This is a tiny Tim who's, that's as much as he's grown, so hopefully once he's in a larger pot, he'll take off a bit more. This is my tea bush seeds. They're a long haul. I'm going to have to wait and fingers crossed that something can come of that my first time. And my beans here. A couple more pepper plants. They're fine for now. I will fertilize them. And another parsley. So I've got my plant food in. Now if you were just doing, if your seedlings, you wanted to top them up with some plant food, Per the recommended uh, package, I would dilute by another half for the wee seedlings. They don't need much. Uh, just water it down more. Uh, and full strength for plants, say, as like mine now. Here's a, a plant that desperately needs watering, I can see, and food. It's not as dark green as I would like. I've been lax, but I'm going to get on it now. When your seedlings come up, you're going to clip out the one that doesn't look as healthy or as large, just so that uh, they are not competing for soil and light and water. You want to make sure your seedlings are getting air, so either you have an oscillating fan, or like me, you have vents. I put my plants near vents, and you can see them waving in the air, maybe a bit too much there. Just, uh, you want them to breathe, not get any fungus. Um, same as, uh, you know, when you're starting your seedlings, you may put a dome on top. Take that dome off very quickly so they can breathe. They need the air to breathe also. Here's an update on my aloe. The um, plantlets that I have taken out of the main plant and potted on have all rooted. They're doing well. Crooked as they are. Do not overwater these now. You need to water to get the roots going once you take the little plant plantlets or pups out. I have two more have popped up already here. So that's great fun because you can pass these on to friends, family, uh, or you could sell them. So let's look at the seeds that arrived today. Now, I, for two years running, am very proud of myself that I got rid of all my seeds, uh, just cleaning them out. Uh, I don't like overspending and or going crazy with seeds, but it does feel good to have a nice fresh start knowing that um, I've just got all fresh new seeds this year. On to my seeds. Now, uh, I'm hunkered, by the way, down here in my living room because I'm chasing light because there seems to be a system coming in from the ocean which is making it very dark out there. Now, these seeds are all from Vessies. It's definitely my preferred uh, seed company. And um, it's for reasons. It's Number one, they have never, ever, ever failed me. 
and I can't say that about all seed companies, they have an extensive trial garden and um, they will tell you their staff favorites, their staff picks and why. They are grown in PEI for Atlantic Canada. So that's for cool short seasons like mine. And they test all their seeds and they have been for 85 years. Love them. I'm not affiliated, but anywho, I'm going to quickly go through these. I ordered these first set. This is my first set only. I will be ordering more. As I told you, I'm out of all my seeds, but these are the ones that I know I need to start uh, the soon, sooner than later. First is I had to get more rally leeks. I've got one pot going and this will be the second pot. Brussels sprouts I must start very early. These are Jade Cross. They're just, uh, just a, they work really well for me here. They're, uh, let me see, early maturing vi variety. And they also hold well in wind, uh, in adverse weather. So they work for me. They don't get wind rock. They're lower to the ground. Then celery, I'm going with uh, Tango, which it, I think I'm, most years I do. I've tried Utah and others, but uh, Tango grows uh, quickly for me and uh, holds up really well. So those I have to start right away. Then my artichoke, I'm going to do the globe artichokes again, and that's Tavor. I have to get those started early. They have to go through a cold snap outdoors, and uh, it's a long haul for those. I told you I already pulled out and started seeding two of my basil that uh, I didn't have any basil at all and I needed those for indoors and I will attempt outdoors they don't grow that great for me but I've got uh, Crimson King and Aroma 2 Crimson King for the beautiful pop of color that I'm hoping to get in Aroma 2 which is an improved Genovese hybrid so I'm relying I'm trusting them that those will work then I'm going to be winter sowing outside much more than normal. I first winter sowed nine years ago or ten years ago and I did the milk jugs but uh, they were cumbersome and, and came apart and so I just like using like what, the containers that you get lettuce and, and things, the big dome containers. Uh, they work really well but I'm really going gung-ho on the winter sowing this year because I had such great success last year. So that's my brassicas mostly. So that's I've got a new one I'm trying which is Gypsy Broccoli it survives all weather, so heat, cold, and that I need. We can have a day of, you know, just a really cold day, no sunlight, freezing. Something can blow in. There could be icebergs out in the ocean, and it's freezing. And then the next day, it could be 22 degrees. And that's hard on my outdoor plants. So I'm hoping that's great for that. Artwork broccolini, just mini broccolis. They are... Uh, they produced for me last year all right to the end of the season, like just non-stop production from those. They were amazing. Then I've got a Freedom Cauliflower, Katarina Cabbage. It's a small, quick grower. It's what I need. Just picked up a couple of beets. Some of my favorite, well, one of my favorites is Merlin. And I'm trying a new one called Bohan. Then I just got some Zucchini Nosh. Uh, winter squash mix. This is the wild bunch mix. That's where I, I had some success last year. I was surprised that with some of the winter squash celebration. Just picked those because I know I'm going to be using them. They last forever for me, 10 months at least in storage. And then I just got some more summer savory and Lewis beans. These are a favorite maritime bean. Um, Lewis green beans, stringless, um, just really do well in Atlantic Canada. So I just needed a few more of those. I will be getting a lot more beans of various varieties because I like to have them dried or demi-sec. So that's my seeds. So that's it for today. Thank you so much. Hopefully see you soon.